Art Fish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and in this tutorial I want to show you a variation on an exercise that you might have seen before. Certainly it's an exercise I think I've shown probably everybody that I've ever taught. It's a really useful exercise for um, coordination and alternate picking. But it's uh, this variation is something that kind of help you break out of uh, like set patterns that you might be in and it helps to open up some, some opportunities for your soloing and your improvising. This is something that was shown to me by another guitarist recently and uh, found quite quite interesting, quite useful and something I've been, uh, been messing around with a little bit myself. Oh, guitar of the day today is this one. It's my uh, Thin Line T-Type. It's one I actually built myself. Uh, Swamp Ash Body and Seymour Duncan Hot Rails for Tele pickups. I'm going into the PV Valve King with a bit of reverb from the Boss RV6. Okay, now the exercise in question is this one, it's really simple, one, two, three, four on every fret, every string. So we start off, let's say start at the fifth fret on the top E string and we just play through one, two, three, four pattern. And so on, take that across all six strings, down and up, then say move up a fret, and repeat the pattern and go right the way around the neck. It's a useful little exercise. Like I say, it builds up um, your coordination skills, builds up your alternate picking skills. And you can put variations into that. So instead of playing like one, two, three, four, you can play four, three, two, one, one, three, two, four, all sorts of different variations and get your fingers moving in different ways. But this particular variation was something that was shown shown me and it's a good way of getting out of what we call muscle memory. Now muscle memory is something um, which is useful for guitarists. It's the idea that when you, you repeat a, a particular particular action, your brain starts to kind of program your muscles and you start to be able to do uh, do that action with less sort of like less conscious input. So if you think about what it was like when you first started playing guitar, you know, being able to form form chord shapes, you'd probably have to struggle and like consciously put a finger down on each string to form a D chord, something like that. But now, if you want to play a D chord, you just do that. It's really instinctive. Now that's what that that is. It's muscle memory. It's something that you've done often enough that the brain kind of programs the fingers to be able to do it in an almost unconscious movement. And that's good if you, you learn scale patterns and different licks and runs and, and you do exercises, your, your brain and your fingers start to me kind of memorise what it is that you're doing. So when you're playing and when you're improvising, certain patterns and certain shapes just fall naturally to your fingers and you can play them smoothly and fluidly without a lot of conscious thought and everything kind of falls into place. That's great, uh, but the problem is, you get stuck into those patterns if you, you're moving your fingers they just naturally kind of fall into certain uh, certain certain shapes or whatnot and it sort of locks you out of of other things you could be doing so this exercise is, is a very simple variation on that one two three four pattern and it's just about using a different string so in the original exercise say starting on the first string at the fifth fret we just played one two three four what we're going to do is play the one on the first string, then play the two, three, four on the second string. Then for the second part, we're going to play the one at the fifth fret on the second string, and then the two, three, four on the third string, and so on. So we get a pattern that goes like this. Going up, we do something similar. We start up on the first finger on the one, the fifth fret on the sixth string, and then play the rest of the pattern the next string up. And continue that. And so on. Now if you start playing that, you might be quite fluid with and fluent with that one, two, three, four pattern all on one string. And when you come to play this, because of that change in strings, you might find that it's, you, you can't play it as easily. Don't be put off. That's kind of the point of the exercise. Your fingers are possibly stuck in this muscle memory of always playing in a particular way. 
And this just kind of breaks you out of that and being able to use using the two strings. It's hard at first because you kind of say you, you, you need to forge new new muscle memory for this sort of pattern. But once it becomes familiar to your fingers, then when you're soloing, it'll be as equally intuitive instead of playing one, two, three, four, or going sequentially up the same string to be able to do uh, patterns that use use two two separate strings. So like I say, don't be put off if when you first play it, what you think should be a fairly simple thing to play, feels really difficult. It's just because you, you're kind of fighting against an existing muscle memory. And as with that initial exercise where instead of just always playing a one, two, three, four type of pattern we're using different uh, different orders, play one, three, two, four, things like that. You could do something similar with this exercise based on two separate strings, uh, but keep the, the idea that you, you start on one string and then finish the pattern with the two, three, four on a separate string. So you could, instead of playing, you could play like things like that. It doesn't necessarily sound particularly musical because you're not using diatonic notes. You're just you're just using notes sequentially on the on on each string. But this really is about uh, about you know, just building up muscle memory in your fingers and, and finding a different way of, of moving around the uh, around the neck between between strings and between frets. Okay, so there's a, a basic idea of an exercise there, something for you to go away and practice, but there's something you can kind of build on and come up with your own patterns. The important thing is keeping the, the pattern played steadily so every note lasts as long as the other, so it's a steady one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or you know, one, three, two, four, one, three, two, four, whatever fingering pattern you're using. And you're using alternate picking as well so it's, it's an exercise for coordination it's an exercise for timing and it's an exercise for picking as well so there's there's a lot to do here and like i say it just gives you a little bit more uh, a little bit more variety than just playing a, a simple pattern on on one string okay hope you found that useful if you did please click like please subscribe down there if you want to leave a comment you're more than welcome but if you want to ask me a question or suggest something for me to cover in a future video whether it's a uh, question about playing guitar music theory guitar equipment or whatever then if you go here fill in the form send your question in i'll try and get around to answering it as soon as i can using that form is a bit more reliable than leaving a comment because uh, youtube's not very good at letting me know where people leave comments so sometimes questions go unseen Okay, that's all for now. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in another video sometime soon. Bye for now.